Merry Christmas. I'm about to make the plum pudding. This is one of my favourite recipes from Eliza Acton's Modern Cookery. I have quite a few of her recipes in my cookbook because, well, she's very, very good. I understand she was the first person to call plum pudding Christmas pudding. For this recipe, you will need flour, breadcrumbs, suet, raisins, currants, apple, sugar, candied peel, mixed spice, salt, brandy, and eggs. To my bowl of flour, I shall add all the dry ingredients. Suet, raisins, currants, the sugar, Apple, a little spice, and some candied peel. Plum pudding is eaten in country houses like this throughout the autumn and winter months. But as it's Christmas day, this plum pudding will be Christmas pudding and Mr. Lincoln, the butler, will pour over hot brandy and set light to it when it's served. Oh, I better add the wet ingredients. The eggs, and the brandy. Now, to choose the mold. I've lined my mould with butter and I'm now going to put in the mix, making sure it gets right down to the bottom. Now using a wet cloth that has been well floured, I'm going to lay it on top, leaving a fold so it has room to rise. And now I'm going to steam it, putting the water just about halfway up the mould. You can, of course, boil your plum pudding in a cloth for that traditional cannonball shape, or steam it in a plain mould, but that's not very imaginative. You can then steam it for about four hours, but it is quite forgiving, so if it's a little longer, don't worry. Just don't let it boil dry. Now the pudding is ready, it's time to turn it out. Mm -hmm. 
As this is Christmas Day, I'm going to decorate it with some holly. There we are, Christmas pudding. Thank you.